Hello, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to TLC. The Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. This is a day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and being glad in it because there's nobody like Him, nobody anywhere like Him. Our faithful and true Father, the Holy One of Israel, the Creator of all things, there's nobody like Him. And He's good. He's better than we think. I think about that verse in the book of Philippians in chapter 4. It says in verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. And I'm going to step out of that passage for a minute just to say, the Lord is at hand. He's right here, present. He's right here, right here where you are, right here where I am. The Lord is at hand. And then going back into the scripture, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God doesn't want us to be afraid of anything. He doesn't want us to be worried about anything or concerned. There you go. That's another word. Concerns like almost like another word for afraid, worried. All of it, whether it's worry or concern or afraid or anxious, it's all about fear and not trusting God. He says, don't be anxious about anything. Don't be worried about how you're going to pay the bills. Don't be worried about how you're going to feed the kids or how you're going to fix the broken water pump in the car. Don't give thanks. He says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Take every care you have to him. And then do that amazing thing that we have the ability to do if we will just embrace it. Believe Him for being God and having answers to every question, to every need. Believe Him. And when we do that, verse 7 just jumps right into play. The peace of God which goes way beyond all understanding is going to guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. I know I read this, I come back to Philippians 4, it seems like a lot, but it's because there's so much, oh, so much there for us to just take hold of. Verse 8 says, finally, brothers, I'm going to say brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, Whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Our God is mighty. Fix your minds on Him. Fix your thoughts on Him. When you start to worry, today or tonight or tomorrow, anytime when you start to worry, just remember this. God wants us to cast our cares on him, to take his yoke on us for his burden, his yoke. It's easy. It's light. And every problem every worry, every fear, every concern, every doubt, every anxious thought. We just surrender to him and we say to him, Father, you see these things, these things that are the cares of my heart. I cast them on you. 
and I thank you and praise you for your answers in all of it because you are the Holy One you are the Almighty God all wisdom and power and honor and glory and might it all belongs to you so I come with Thanksgiving for how you're going to work in these circumstances and I will not waver in my confidence that you will because you are God and father if there's something I need to know that I'm doing or believing or saying that's causing these things please help me see that create a clean heart in me God renew a right spirit in me I want to honor you with all I am with all I say and all I do I want you to be magnified and glorified in every way in every area of my life in Yeshua's name Amen You guys are valuable you're valuable to God you're valuable to us you're precious in the sight of our Lord your life is precious he gave you life he didn't have to create you he didn't have to create me but he did because he wanted us your life is worth something and the something that it's worth is the price that Yeshua paid to give his life for you to be able to be forgiven and for me to be able to be forgiven so that we could learn to walk according to his will and have the opportunity to be with him in his kingdom as his sons and daughters wow that's powerful lord we bless your name this day guys I hope if you haven't considered it I hope you'll consider and pray about coming to the retreat in September and if you can't do that father knows what his plans are for you we're gonna try to broadcast some of it while we're at the retreat so you can join us in worship and if you want to come but you don't know how you could because of finances just pray God owns a cattle on a thousand hills he can surely make a way if that is his will for you he will make a way I pray over all my brothers and sisters in Christ today Lord I pray over the ones that are lost as well I pray for the brothers and sisters that have wandered away oh God you're the one who knows how to bring them back you're the one who knows how to draw men and women to you so father our cry goes up to you thank you Lord God for what you're going to do thank you for showing us what our part is Thank you for your kingdom that will come in all the earth we bless your name Lord in Yeshua's name amen
We love you guys. And we invite you to join us for a Monday Night Live stream. Thank you all so very much for your love and support and prayers. We can hardly wait to meet you. Bye for now.